telling you, these new school hippies, they're fucking mean because they've got all like mommy and daddy's money. And I'm sitting there thinking, oh, this is just like your normal concert experience. And next thing I know, I wake up covered in fucking blood. I mean, my oh. fucking shoulders dislocated and I'm pretty sure I had jizz in my hair. God, that is fucked up. Fuck. It's disgusting, man. Some dark shit. Dark shit. Man. Yeah. I'm glad I don't have that. You don't have what? Like a story like that? Oh, I'm sure there's some dark shit buried deep in there. What do you got? What? Uh, What's the darkest shit that you've ever been through before? The darkest shit I've ever been darkest through? Darkest shit. I'm talking about midnight, pitch black, dark shit. And what do you got, Stevie Jujewski? I use, uh, if I say something um, that I've never told anybody, uh, how do I know that you guys aren't going to tell everybody? Who the fuck are we going to tell? We don't give a shit. No one gives a fuck on, what you're dude. doing. Just tell us. We're dude, having dude, beers here. Okay. Um, when I was 25 years old, um, my grandfather was sick, all right? Oh, I like where this is going. And he was at a nursing home, and I volunteered at the nursing home, okay? <laughs> and... Uh, that's where I would spend a lot of my time. And meanwhile, also when I was 25, I, um, it's embarrassing, but I was a compulsive masturbator. So, and I was noticing that a lot of my social, like, circle was falling away because I would spend so much time doing that, you know? Um, so I, I, I decided, hey, I am not gonna masturbate for as long as I can, okay? And about gonna get the magic back. Yeah, gonna get the magic back. And so I went about 36, 37 days. But I was volunteering. But meanwhile, I would masturbate, but I would not have an orgasm, okay? So I was sort of going crazy, okay? And then as my grandfather was in the nursing home, he had a girlfriend. Um, Where the fuck is this going? <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> he had a girlfriend. My grandfather had a girlfriend who was 90 years old. And you know when, I don't know, just you start thinking crazy thoughts, you know, and... Because you're pent up. Because you're, you're so pent up, which I'm not saying, I'm not excusing the behavior, but I was so pent up that um, I went when um, she was medicated, and then I... Um, this is your grandfather's girlfriend. girlfriend. Uh, before he died. Uh, and then I had sex with um, her. I crawled into her bed and had sex with her. How old are we talking here? She was 90. Fuck me! How conscious? She was not conscious because she was on drugs. Whoa! What? Fuck! What? Is that cool? Is that cool? I don't know if it's cool, but... <laughs> I mean, it's illegal. That's pretty illegal. fucking dark, yeah. <laughs> it's dark. You fucked a 90-year-old unconscious woman. No, 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 no. <laughs> You raped a 90-year-old unconscious woman. You raped somebody. <laughs> Is that cool? I'll tell you. Is that cool? <laughs> you yeah. definitely got a lot cooler in my book. Hey. <laughs> no. Charlie. He Charlie. raped a 90-year-old woman. No, no. Come on. She, no, seriously. Go. She was unconscious. Go. <laughs> We're joking. I was dating his fucking grandfather. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm kidding. Jesus. Okay, no, you, that's... That's pretty dark, dude. Yeah, that's definitely dark. But it's cool. Did though. you like it? Yeah, I liked it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. What is the oldest woman that you have ever had sex with? 56. Not that old. Not that old. <laughs> not even that exciting. It was it? 90 is not the oldest. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, Um... So it's 90 years old, is that, that's the oldest thing I think I've ever heard anyone have sex with? Uh, I'd sex wait, wait. with a 48-year-old. That's not 90, though. 90 well, you still. want the kicker? You what? want the kicker? 90 is not the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Someone else in the home. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, okay, I'm liking this guy now. Yeah. Tell me she was, she, was living, she was 101, but she was conscious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you want the kicker? What's the kicker? 90 mm -hmm. is not the oldest. The oldest is 101. Shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, but she was conscious. It was a choice. Wow. What yeah. is that even like? 
It's like fucking dust. No, it's, it's, I, to be honest, I haven't had too many young women uh, to compare. I believe you. Uh, but it's pretty good. Well, I'll tell you the difference between old women and young women is that young women actually get wet down there where the old, you know, the old women, it just turns to dust and particles. You guys keep difference. talking about dust when I'm the expert. You know, usually when you have sex with a woman, it doesn't smell like your grandmother's antique furniture down there. Can you tell me how she thought you were FDR when you were having sex with her? <laughs> <laughs> now this is, this is a little cruel because I don't, well, I don't know if it's true. Because I said the 101 year old was conscious, but she was also very senile mm -hmm. um, and had Alzheimer's. Bonus. And yeah. she thought she was in World War II, and I grabbed one of the wheelchairs and put a um, blanket on me and wasn't wearing any pants. You've... And had a, my, um, my dick was hard. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, and I was, she thought I was FDR. Wow. And her dream, because old people talk about, um, you know, old people, once they get Alzheimer's, they talk about like the sexual experiences they had. Her dream was to have sex with FDR. So I gave her you her dream. You made that dream come true. Yeah. You FDR'd her. You FDR'd her, yeah. I had sex with her. Cheers to that. Yeah. You Cheers. helped the old. I helped the old lady, yep. So that was basically the screening process. I think you officially do have the job Thank as you. assistant. Oh, but by the way, I was a good volunteer, okay? Obviously. Yeah. Aside from the rape. Of the nine-year-old woman that was dating your grandfather. Yeah, I was a good volunteer. <coughs> it's $160 for that eight ball. Okay, that's cool. Eight ball. $160. Mm. Well, um, <coughs> I'll leave you two to your... Uh... Whatever. Okay, so we were talking about protein shakes? Yes, we're going to need six of those for Wednesday because I plan on working out quite heavily. Okay. Okay. And we do still owe Clegg $160 for the eight ball. Yeah, okay. I'll... Um... Uh, my bank account's kind of low. Well, I need you to go into overdraft then, because this is really important. Okay, okay, I'll do that. This is good, just hanging out with you and getting to know you better. Yeah, getting to know you too. Yeah. <laughs>